Good evening. Good evening. What is new? Not much. What's new with you? Uh, you know, I was just I was just listening to uh, some of my albums here because I'm I'm a vinyl fan. One of the albums I was listening to was the 1977 Queen album News of the World, and that stands out because. Uh, that's got the famous title track of We Are the Champions. And I think you have something to say about that tonight, don't you? Indeed. The battle of the 300 champions is our battle for tonight. Let me give you a little quick rundown of why our battle map looks so unique. So it is the year 546 BC, and Sparta and Argos are at it once again. So Sparta had surrounded and captured the plain of Thraea, and the Argives march out to defend it. However, they decide instead of all this needless bloodshed, they're going to choose 300 of their greatest warriors from each side and let them duke it out, and let them decide the winner. You know, very reasonable conclusion to the battle there. That way, the, the total number of casualties wouldn't be so great. So both armies march home to let the 300 champions fight out amongst themselves. That way there's no temptation to help out or interfere for a fair fight. Neither side of these 300 champions allows injured men to be taken. So it is complete and total annihilation. Both sides are evenly matched and both sides go into bloody combat. The battle lasts all day, and in the end, two Argives are the survivors, according to different sources. There are a few different sources about you know this battle in, in ancient Greek history. So they've won. These two, you know, these two guys high five each other, and they run back to their army to let them know that hey, we won. Unfortunately for them, that's not quite the case because there was one surviving Spartan. Heavily injured, but still alive. His name was Othrates. And Othrates, since these two guys left the battlefield, is now technically the last man standing. So technically, the Spartans have won the battle. Now, his fate is a little nebulous. Most accounts have him committing suicide, but in some accounts, he erects a shrine to his fallen brethren which is, allows the Spartans to realize that a Spartan had survived the battle. Other accounts have him telling some of the baggage handlers who were still there as witnesses that, that he survived. Regardless, when the Spartans and the Argives meet up again, they immediately start fighting over who won the battle and have themselves a proper fight anyway, which the Spartans win, and they win a decisive victory, thus gaining control of Thratis. So there is our history tonight as we uh, play out the battle of 300 champions. And I'm eager to know how this battle will play out because this is a rather unique setup. Exactly the word I was going to use. This is the most unique meta game I have ever seen for commands and colors. And we are going to utilize that as a quick start. Well, not quick start, but as a, a mechanic to get us underway. Uh, so here's our war council. I will be taking the Argive army, the light blue blocks there. Uh, we don't know who the leaders are because this is the, you know, that's the tournament of champions kind of thing. Uh, I will have five command cards. Uh, Peter will have the Spartans and he will have com these, he'll have six command cards. So a little bit better on his side. And he's also got another advantage we'll talk about momentarily. Uh, this is supposedly a quick one. It's only five banners. It's not as fast as a four-banner battle, but uh, with the metagame, it's a nice balance. So we should not be here too long, I think, on this episode. We are using the hoplite infantry, so both sides tonight will have hoplites. So we see we have MH. They're all medium units. That means that, uh, just to remind you from last week, the hoplite means they can be activated with an order-mounted or a mounted charge. In addition, they get that bonus of the mounted charge plus one. We have five of the Spartans down here. That I'm highlighting are the bronze ish one. They've got that little hash mark on them. They have five members to that unit. So that is a little bit of an advantage and potentially even more tonight, as we're going to see after this. And then the large 
block of text there if you're following along is the actual metagame here, the Battle of Champions. We will start with our two lines here in the center. We'll just work our way down the line, and for each one of the combatants, Peter and I will, it's simultaneous, but he, he and I will take turns, we'll roll our two dice, and for any triangles and swords, that will eliminate possibly one or both of us as they fall in combat. If there are two flags thrown, you know how Colonel Flag likes to throw the flags, then that hoplite is disgraced and will just go back off the side and, and have basically lost. We will keep doing this until one side has two or fewer blocks left on there, so it is possible for mutual assured destruction. And then at that point, we will take whatever remainder we have, and we will apply them to our individual units here uh, on each side. So it is possible for the Argives to have some units with five in them, and it's possible for the Spartans to have single uh, some units with six, but you can only apply one block to one unit. You can't do uh, multiples. So if you have two or three blocks, then that's great. Plus, whichever side has the most blocks remaining, quote, has won the battle, won the championship, and they will get to go first. First. If there is a tie on that, then the Spartans will win the tie, and uh, because of the guy going, I'm happy, I'm so alive, I don't want to go on the cart. So that is our War Council tonight, a very cool little thing to get us underway. I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it, it threw me for a loop when I first saw it, and then I realized, oh my god, there's only one block of each in the center. What, what, what does this mean? You know, before I, I read the history. So it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to yeah. it. So uh, let us have our champions do battle. Yes, then. to the gods. All right, I will roll my two dice first. Oh, Huzzah! you have slew me. Here's mine. And I definitely slew you. So where Let's just you drag them off, off to the side here. I'll just put them, uh, we'll just, yeah, that's fine. All right. Aha! Ooh. Miss! Aha! Strike home! Okay. Number three. And my number three. Nothing. They live. Okay. Number four. My number four. Aha! You are certainly winning the battle of champions here. Okay. Number five. Aha! Oh, my leg! But I get you right back. Six. Number six. Number seven. Ouch. My number seven. Ah, we stab each other in the heart. Hit four tap. All right, so that is Nailed it. On the top. So you have two blocks left. So now you will uh, you will take yours and apply them however you wish. Uh, I, I was experimenting earlier and I could not see a way to add more than uh, than that. So what we'll do is we'll just I don't know stack them behind or something. We'll figure it out, uh, and then I will have the uh, the same on there. Just put mine, and then since I have the most champions, I have won the day. So I will draw my five cards. Go. See how many useless cards I get. <laughs> there are plenty of them in there. Uh, well then, let us uh, first of all wish you good luck and thank everybody that's watching here tonight. I feel sometimes that I overlook the fact that you're here because Peter and I just get right into it. So thank you for joining us. And I'm going to give you the reminder right now, in case you don't make it all the way to the end of the episode. Take a moment. If you've enjoyed it so far, click that like button and subscribe if you are of a mind to. And we are off and running. I'll do outflanked. 
Ow! Flanks. Indeed. Flanks. Ah. Flanks. Cat is here and says hello. Mm. I'll activate three units in the center. So it's three. I will do leadership any section. Mm. We'll activate these. And we shall throw a spear at your hoplites there in the end. One die. Getting nothing. Alright, I will coordinate an attack with all leaders. So, we'll move up there. These will attack your brave four dice. Two hits. Poor auxilia. And a retreat. He did not want to pursue and winnow them? Nope. 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 Okay. Nope. Don't need to fall into the trap with your, your unit of five hoplites there. Moi. I'm sure you have a trap <clears throat> as it is. Um, not so much. It's just simple. I'm a simple man with simple cards and simple leadership. I always knew you were a simple man trying to make your way in the galaxy. All right. So we will attack your hoplites. With four dice plus leader bonus. Getting two hits. Uh, here is a leader check. Oh, oh! Wow! We have good intel on this guy. Uh oh. So, what did you I roll? I did roll a banner. Roll the banner. So, so, I will retreat. Yes. Okay, well, that's. That makes the option quite good. Uh, we will follow up. Try to run them down with four dice plus leader. And we do. Mm. Mm -mm. And then up here, we now have a path to throw a spear at them. One die. Nothing. Okay, now, can't let that go unanswered. I'll respond with two units on the right. Respond in kind by sending these two up. Take on that auxilia. First four dice against that auxilia. Ouch. Three hits. But we can respond with three dice. Getting a hit. Top lights will attack with their leader. Four dice. Going the one hit they need. Um, they'll advance. A leader. Go again against those half lights. Four dice there. Or two hits. Two hits. Give you four back. Just one. But that will trigger a leader check. Yep. Not as lucky on this wing. Nope. All right. Hmm. Get a handful of useless cards here. I have a good card. I have a good card. It's a great card. So let's take these four right here in the middle. There we go. 
there. It's a little muddy up here, but uh, I think you get the idea. I get the gist. All right, so we're going to do... We'll attack here first with uh, four dice plus leader bonus. Oh. Ooh. That is a uh, well-struck, sir. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a leader, so I could advance, but I can't battle again, so I'm not going to bother with that. We'll just move on to this one and do four dice plus leader. And get three hits on them. Man, you have some hot dice tonight. Alright, so here's a leader check. All right. Leader check. He's fine. Four dice back. Oh. Three. So I get, uh, let's take that block, and we'll just delete, and then two hits. Boom, boom. Okay. Leader check. Check. He's fine. Okay. Um, so that side is done. Uh, I think we'll come to this one first. Do four dice plus leader. Two hits. And leader check. He is okay. Four dice back. Before you do that, there was a banner if you want to take it. Do I want to take it? You know, that's 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 prudent. I think I will take it. Okay. Uh, and then my other ones have nothing to attack now, so we are done with the Double time. Activate two on the left. So I'll just be this one guy here. Move up. And we'll after that, auxilia. Four dice. Very nice. This is a very interesting game because very quickly your hand fills up with cards you can't use. Yeah. And while it is a straightforward, bloody affair as far as just getting in there and, and stabbing each other in close quarters, it can turn very quickly. I mean, we're tied and... As soon as someone gets an order medium troops, this game is over. Possibly. Possibly. Um, Say that, you've got one. No. I do, however, have a line command. Line command will work just as well. Yes. Right, so let's see if we can do this. That. with here four dice plus leader striking them down here's a leader check he's good okay uh, we'll do this one then follow follow that leader uh, this will be four dice plus leader on this one Oh, they have to take it, though. Interesting. And I do not have leadership there, so I cannot pursue. Um, let's do this end here. Four dice plus leader. Getting two. And leader check. That's fine. Four dice back. Uh, three. three. Okay. And see if unnamed hoplite leader can 
finish the job with four dice plus leader. It does. Final leader check. He's fine. We will advance and attack this group of six with four dice plus leader. Getting two. There. Okay. All right, coming back at you with four dice with leader support. Ooh. Okay. That is all. Either the sure thing or the gamble. I think I'm going to have to go with the sure thing. I figured that... Uh, attacks against them. Yeah, so you, can, you can certainly keep it close. So I will double time. Now, what are those units there since I cannot activate a leader with use of his position? We'll move in like that. We'll go after those hoplites there. Four dice. Yeah, they got the one you needed. Just barely. All right. And with leader support, these guys will attack there. Four dice. Hoping for a good roll. Not what I was looking for. Just two. And a leader check. Leader check. That's correct. Nope. Oh. Alright, and here is four back with leader. Two hits and a retreat. Right where you wanted to go. Right where I would have wanted to go anyway. Alright. Well. My I guess I'm down to gambling. Then. My fate is uh, is indicated. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't gamble on this one. So I'll do medium troops. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. I have five. dark in the sky. Order light troops. Move fire. Move. Move three units right. I uh. And then my gambling card. My my uh, gamble card was Clash of Shields, but I really need to get down here and attack this Singleton. So go down here. Uh, was one of those cards perhaps a first strike? Nope. Okay. So I am smart. <laughs> so here's a Fort Heights plus leader. There we go. Argos carries the day. Uh, this one, I, I mean, it, I thought it's, it's it's clever. It's clever. Oh no, I, I yeah, I, I think that uh, that opening part is cool just because it will give lots of replayability and variability to the opening uh, volleys. But uh, having the double time card, I was just waiting. I was biding my time. Let you get within a couple hexes, and then when you started to break up towards the this right group up here, that's when I just like go charge. Um, but I I think this I mean with five blocks that could have been I mean it could have been tied at four for all we know and and come down to it. Well, and and honestly, the 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 sheer luck of rolling two leader symbols. Oh, absolutely. That, yes. That's a big help. That is a very big help. Yes. I will not discount the fortunes of war and the gods were smiling upon me that day. If if there were still one more block left, this would be a different fight. Yes, it would. Well, let's see what happens when you take the Argive and I take the Spartans. So we're going to take our little five minute break here, get some ambrosia in us, and we'll be right back with round number two. Peter, are you back? I'm back. Fantastic. Are you back? I'm here. Let's get started with round two. Uh, this one, I'm sure, will be just as bloody, not only for the champions, but for our associated hoplites. Uh, all right. So um, I'm the Spartan, so I'll roll first here. We're going to go, of course, left to right again. So here's my two dice for my first champions. Oh, and good luck again. Good luck to you as well. Thank you. Nothing. Boo. All right. 
Second one. Oh, very nice. Three. Nothing. Wait to that raw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm Wait disgraced. Shame. Boo. All right. Uh, number four. Kill. Also killed. Number five. <laughs> we don't want to go. Number six. Nothing. Mm. Kill. Number seven. Definitely kill. And number eight. Nothing. And... Spartans have lost again. Man. Yeah. All right. So we we retreat to our various sides. All right. So five cards. I do six. <laughs> Undo. There you go. All right. I get six. You get six. Right. Right. Nothing to it but to do it. That's right. Good luck once again. Good luck. We'll start the battle with a line command. It's all so glorious to see it when it just works with that kind of uniformity and precision. Mm-hmm. Um I will counterattack that. And order everyone here to step forward that way. Where's that double time? Where is that double time? I don't know. I will line command again. Now we'll get to grips. Yes. Yes, we shall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I get six, huh? Well, two. Six four. of your hoplites. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Bye. Well then, let us uh, commence a fighting. I love how we're we're five minutes into the second game. We have dispensed with all subtlety. Just screw it. Just walk up and kill them. Uh, all right. Let's start with. Let's start on this end down here. Let's see if we can go for the softies. They're not really that soft. No, they they've seen a war or two. Uh, so we got four dice plus leader. Got three hits. Three dice back. One hit. Okay. Give me a leader check. I won't be so lucky. Oh, you know what? What did I forget? My mounted charge. So, let me roll one extra die on this one here. So, here's one die. And that, that wipes them out, so... I'll just... Yeah. Uh, so, I will take my block back. So, with that... We will... Advance and battle again... On there, with five dice plus leader. Getting three hits. There's a leader check. He's fine. And you have the option to retreat if you wish. 
Nope, I'll go four dice back at you. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, two hits. Take a... Now get rid of that block, delete, and a hit. Give me a leader check. Fine, and he has to take one of those banners. So come back to here. This one will attack the same target. Now with leadership support, so five dice plus leader. Wow! You might just win it right here. Mm, we'll see. Uh, one dive for leader. He's fine. All right. Next, we'll have this one against them with five dice plus leader. Uh, three hits and a retreat. Well, actually, isn't he supported? Does the leader provide support? Uh, he does. Yes. Yeah. So you don't. Yeah. You can ignore that at retreat. That's right. You are supported. But I'm going to attack back with four dice. You are correct. Plus leader support. Ooh. All right. Uh, let's see. The big boys here will go after that unit. So we're going to have uh, five dice plus leader. Boo, indeed. All right. Four dice back. Lead a check. And, um, this one will go against these with five dice plus leader. Oh, the dice is going cold! Four dice back. Mm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hit, hit, Big roll. hit. And we will take the retreat. And then these guys will go against the same target. Five dice. Oh, man. What were you saying about winning it right here? No, I really thought you would. Yeah. Four dice back. With leader. With oh. the leader. Hit, hit, hit. What I would not give for a counterattack right now. I think I'll settle four units in the center. Those four. We're going to start here with this leader. He's going to attack that leader block there with four dice. One hit. One hit, okay. Lead a check. And we'll give you four back with leader. Yeah, these guys are very timid tonight. They don't want to fight. Leader check. He's fine. Okay, this unit will follow up. Same target. Four dice with leader support. I stand corrected. <laughs> wow. And leader check. He's fine. I will not attack with this unit here on the uh, far left of my line. So I'll move to this unit here. That soft target, hopefully. Or dice with leader support. Ah, indeed. Even things up a little bit. <laughs> uh, the game mocks me, Patrick. Uh, 
<laughs> Did you just get a mounted charge? <laughs> no, I got a counterattack. Oh, even better. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we're going to do outflanked. Let's see if we can't take advantage of some of these soft targets as well. All right. We'll do this one first with four dice plus leader. Scoring a kill. This will go against your leader here. Looking for a leader symbol. Any symbol will do, leader-wise. Oh. All And over on this end, we go four dice against your auxilia. Getting two hits on a retreat. And we'll pursue an attack again with four dice plus leader. Ruthless. V very much so. With five victory banners, you cannot afford to not take advantage. All right. That is all. Knowing that you will close the gap, I'm sure. Mm, I don't know about that. What are three in the center? Four dice on those hoplites. Oh, gee. See? Just like that, folks. Yeah, not wrong. Hold on. Leader die. Leader lives. Now for the knockdown drag out. Hoplites on hoplites. Four dice. Oh. Oof. Three hits and a retreat. Hmm. Well, sir. The center has crumpled. That's unfortunate. So I have to go with three on the left. Let's see what we can do with these two. Down to this, I suspect. Four dice plus leader bonus. Two hits. Two hit. Four dice back. No hits. Uh oh. Oof. All right, and uh, my op lights there with the leader have nothing to do. So that, that's probably the game right there. Two in the center. Acquiring soft targets. All right, going after those hoplites with four dice. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> wow. Those, <sighs> that's the gods mocking you right there. Right there. Yeah, the cards gods, and now the dice gods. All right. Now I have to do this. Yep. Four against four. Four dice. Oh. Three hits. Pretty close. All right. And then I give you four back with leader. Two hits. Mm, I'm pretty vulnerable now. And then a leader check. Maybe that's a sign. It's a sign, all right. <laughs> Going out of business. business. <laughs> all right. This is, yeah, this is probably one of the most brutal that you and I have ever had. Not because it's difficult or anything, it's just the blood. The bloodshed. Oh, Lord, the bloodshed. Let's do the medium troops. Uh, 
right, there, there, there. And, um, we'll start with this. Do... F ah! Ha! <laughs> Just got it. Nice. I'm glad I picked that one first. Yes. I was hoping you would, you'd go off on the wings, but surprise, not surprised you didn't. So... Big roll here. Four dice. Four dice. Come on, big roll. That's a pretty good roll. Two. Two hits. Let's see about that leader. All right. Four Wrong dice. Wrong symbol. Can I, can I close the deal? <laughs> Somebody got to help old Gil out with four dice plus leader bonus. Oh, 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 but, but, the forced retreat sends him crashing back into our line. No, that's the wrong way, sir. Oh, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I came from the top, didn't I? <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, man, what a great game. Mm. I, I was dubious about the whole circus of champions but i really like that it's it's cute because every now you know every every 10 or 12 scenarios they throw something in there that's a little different and i really appreciated that so my hat is off to uh, mr borg for uh for coming up with that neat little idea or whomever came up with that scenario idea that was pretty good i, I think it facilitated the historical narrative quite well it's a dice off, sure, but you put a little theme on it, and it was neat. Uh, so then, our final score tonight. Uh, I got five in the first one. Oh, it's it's five three five three. That's easy. So I take it by ten to six. I, I capture four more banners back in the final total, which is showing to to you now. And we've got two two early Spartan scenarios completed. What say you? Wow, the Spartans aren't doing too well in their own scenarios. I think they're they're just trying to make you appreciate it more later, I guess. I hope so. I think you summed it all up with this one. Clever mechanic. Wouldn't want to see it all the time, but for this one, I enjoyed it. Just having all mediums is so brutal. Oh, yeah. I mean, in, in both games, you had the killer card of order medium troops. Yep. I did not. Yep. So, right there, that that's just a such an advantage in this in this in this particular fight i was i had a bountiful harvest of good fortune this time not only with that but i had the uh the order order mounted although it failed most i got a few good hits on you but right in that center when i really needed that the, the plus one to come home it was just a failure on epic proportions uh but yeah you're right i'm sitting here with heavy troops light troops, move, fire, move, all pretty useless unless you're going to use them just yep. as, as a wild card. So, yeah, <laughs> the the bonus of the hoplites means that uh, you're, you're paying otherwise by not having other units. So I uh, really come to appreciate the, as you said, the, the medium troops having the light, um, having the line command is just gold in this one. Absolute gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that will do it for this evening. Thank you, one and all, for watching here with our second scenario completed for the sixth expansion of the Spartans. Hopefully, you know, we'll get out of this and the Argives will take their thumb off the Spartans, let them have a turn at winning. I don't know. But take a moment now as we do. We implore you, put your hands together and uh, click that like and subscribe button. I'm putting the reminder for you there now. If you've made it this far, please, I'm still trying for that wonderful goal of 100 views and 100 likes. That would be awesome. Still waiting, but uh, I'll start reminding people at the beginning of these uh, uh, episodes as well. Uh, next week, I will take the historical research, of course, as we move on another bit of time. I don't know how far. A few, eh, few dozen years, maybe, I'm sure. But until such time, uh, keep watching the videos. Go back and watch all the old playlists. And I'm, of course, showing you our monetary supporters right now. Thank you, one and all, to those of you kicking shekels each and every month. We really appreciate it. Until next time, sir, great game tonight. Great game. Yeah, great game. Great game. And I will wish you a good week, and I'll see you next time on the Plains of Battle. Until then, good night. Good night.